plastic, the miracle stuff that's become indispensable to modern life, except for what's not, the throwaway single-use trash that overwhelms all efforts to recycle. Can the genie be put back in the bottle? We'll look at a way to stop the deluge and what's holding that effort back. Have you gotten to see what's going on at the Shell petrochemical facility, also known as the cracker plant? 4,500 trade jobs, and it's gonna peak this summer at 6,500. They're saying that they're gonna get rid of plastic. You know, they're trying to get rid of plastic straws and all of these other stuff. But the plants are still coming in. A lot of people are getting diagnosed with cancer. When you're burying young people, when you're burying middle-aged people, that's not their time. I think it's all about money. I think money play a big part in them letting these industry come in here. We keep buying plastic, using plastic, so they're going to make it here or elsewhere. There are more lobbyists than there are state legislators. There is nothing nefarious about that. It is an open and transparent process. Bags, to try to, I tried to ban plastic bags in Louisiana. That went over like a lead balloon. It got killed in committee. I couldn't get it out onto the Senate floor. Lobbyists don't only bring education and expertise. They also organize fundraisers. Government has lost its purpose. It's supposed to be here for people, not bottom lines in Wall Street and special interests.